Um, you know, one thing is for sure is I've noticed that there's a this strength in speaking up what's happening. Target individual, um, I w would always recommend if you're a TI, if you're going through things that's similar to TI, I think that your testimonial is needed because you need to see things. You need to show what's happening to you so others can feel validated. Because the way these people do things to us, they also hire and contract people whose sole job is to kind of create a distorted reality. Their job is to create a, a, a reality where it's just based on, 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 on creations. And that's their job. They pick people who have the ability to do that. Uh, which means those are not, you know, it's it's not a, a skill that is just hard to get, you know. It's just really, you have to kind of accept to be on a level of low that perhaps <laughs> it's just many would not want to be, but not hard to get. Um, I'm listening to these people via V2K interacting with me. I'm a target individual who not only get the gang stalking, synthetic therapy, but V2K. And then you hear this childlike individuals who, who's talking to me with this forced, mystic tone of voice that you hear them just wanting to sound a certain way. It's like, we are. It's like, You're just a clown the government contracted. And it's just, it's comical and frustrating at the same time. Because the things they say is scary, but comical. You hear people say, oh, well, I'll pass you now. Stupidity. She's trying to you, refer to something about a friend <laughs> to create this. They create this fantasy. You know what they're saying? They say they're going to plant child porn on my computer. Do you understand this entity is running this program? I feel pedophiles. There's been a, there was a bill tried to pass to stop this. They, tr they were trying to pass a bill where they would help investigating this terrible pattern they've been seeing in the Department of Defense where child porn is commonly circulating in this network. They've been consistently ranked as top tier child porn, sharing peer to peer. And it's been an ongoing issue that even some kind of like child protective entity has kept ranking the Department of Defense as a top tier network where child porn, child porn is consistently shared between peer to peer, right? This trash tried to sound a fierce way, try to sound in a fierce way to tell me that we're gonna pass you, we're gonna frame you. And how we're gonna frame you is we're gonna plant child porn, we dared, we are. We, and when they say we are, they try to be like, we're this like rogue group of feminists, or not even fem, femme fatale and you pay for what you did. Now, at this point, if you've heard target individuals' testimonials, you know there's a lot of women they're destroying and raping, and I know some of them doing these things to me have clearly had experience doing that to women. And they have no problem to create this fantasy, even though it's clear that this thing is happening to not only women, but children too. And they have even create a new narrative of storylines that they put together. <laughs> For example, the word passing. There was, a, there was the, a friend of mine who became a, well, it was not really a friend of mine, but a friend of my family who is a perp, right? And before everything got, I figured everything up, he introduced me to a girl that he himself was with. I ended up being intimate with this girl. He was intimate with this girl before me. This is somebody who was like 19 years old at the time. And he is somebody who is close to 40 years old at the time. I don't know when he met her. I don't know I, I, the speculation. But I know when I met her. He said, oh, no, I know this girl, you know, we, we pass each other, we give, us, if we, we give each other passes. Basically, she introduced a friend of hers to him, he introduced a friend of him to her. That's how they say things. 
Now, this trust trying to be like, uh-huh, oh, I'll pass you. Now, these people are involved in this program where they're using human subjects to do these horrible things too. This trash utilizes you as a human being and utilizes technology from the Department of Defense to get whatever result they try to get. They're getting incentives for them. For that, there is some kind of financial and other incentives. They try to paint a society up to make you believe that this is anything but a mass government running this program. At this point, there's no way you can see that for what it is. No private, specific, like, individual could afford, have the resources or the capability to do what's happening to us. It's obvious it's the Department of Defense. This technology is obviously coming from there. These childlike individuals definitely are not running these things. You see them, you see even the way they try to talk to you. It's just childlike. Now, it's not only childlike individuals involved. For example, I was, uh, I was on a call with a client. This is a, an adult man with kids. And he still wants me to somehow think that I don't know with all the validation that not only that the entities running this program are obviously connected to the Department of Defense, which happens to have a problem with pedophilia. So bad, like I said, that they kept being ranked as a top tier network for where child porn can circulate and is peer to peer shared. Two, that target individual people who are in the same situation as me has literally said they do this thing called like they do the pedophilia type of torture they force me to get sexual arousals they do these things where they aim those sexual arousal towards children then they try to guys like you oh he does like no way i'm not going to listen to somebody who describe exactly what i've been experiencing what what i have been experiencing since august 19 2019 i'm not going to listen to them i'm going to listen to you who obviously is there to protect the community with your defense weapons. These people have caused mass shootings. The largest mass shooting this year, yes, is a target individual who is hearing voices that were insulting him, a pedophile. Now, I hear these bottom feeders who, the, with the level of humiliation they have now, where pedophilia is obviously seen as a real problem in this entities contracting this trash. I call me, you are pedophiles, like awkward as a motherfucker. It is extremely awkward because the reality is, is that you are working for so many pedophiles that they, they try to pass a bill to find a way to kind of stop this thing that's ongoing in these entities because it's it's embarrassing and humiliating that, to know that the Department of Defense Internet Network is being ranked as top tier for child porn circulating in this network. The awkwardness of it all is crazy. Now, it's just too much. And now I hear these people talking and the way they talk, you know, because I have no doubt that horrible things are going to happen to me. Matter of fact, I know they're even going to have to go extra because with the psyop they were trying to create and the humiliation of reality was just overwhelming. How much in a lifetime can one have validation? I know they torture so many women. Matter of fact, listen to, to this. shot in the face and it was an older guy he was like really really disgruntled and pissed off yeah i just shot in the face you know it sounds like an angry ass old person you know then a couple of days later a female said the same thing oh he shot in the face and, you know stupid shit like that but what i really noticed is with the voice is called it's a bunch of females now obviously i know that Men or female, whatever gender, 
anybody can participate in this and many have in both gender this trash wanted to come up with a fantasy in every way even right now they're manipulating me making me have bringing up the things they made me experience before and it's just too much now they like to brag not even brag try to show off like oh we're gonna win with pass it's like do you understand that i know i know that this is department of defense technology and i'm a civilian and so i left because i'm like it's like me looking at a guinea pig and i have like this extreme sophisticated technology and i'm applying that onto a guinea pig it's like oh we're gonna win you know how stupid i would feel oh, we're gonna crash you and i'm looking at a guinea pig and you have all this like technology and sophisticated technology and i'm looking at that guinea pig and like yeah oh we won do you know how childlike it I would be embarrassed. It's, it would be the. It's impossible to not get the results, especially for me who's not been trying to be run around and and like leave places to places. I'm staying here. I will even run if they told me, "Hey, come here, sit there. We're gonna castrate you." I will run to them like because I know you want me to create this fear. I'd rather get castrated than do what you do. You leave off narrations that you create yourself matter of fact i said the word bragging immediately they try to bring up a, a time when i was with somebody we were dating and she tells me about something about um her ex-girlfriend right i'm 20 years old i'm not the most mature person she says something about her her ex-girlfriend she was bisexual oh i think she still is bisexual and she says um my my ex-girlfriend doesn't she she wasn't she couldn't be with guys because something happened to her as a child and the, i think a man molested her or something like that and my response as a 20 year old not knowing what to respond i'm like oh i, I know somebody too you know like I, I didn't know what to say this stupidity of response was in the maturity of me just a little jealous that she's talking about her girlfriend and me just wanting to respond like oh me too i know somebody like and she was like hey you shouldn't be bragging about it i was like yeah she was right it's very mature but doesn't the mature respond for me not knowing what to respond to now they're like oh i see you bragged I was like, Trash us. well the reality is these people do things to children the entities that contract this trash are filled with pedophiles and for me what they're saying is like no what you did what you were thinking about is what you did when you were a kid in middle school which obviously is not true i don't even remember like it's, I did some stupid thing which they try to exaggerate. They wish I molested a child. They wish I did something to this child. The reality is I did something to me when I was a child, myself, in middle school. Something that it was so completely impulsive that I never even thought of it ever again. It just disappeared like a kid can do. Imagine kids like that. And the reason why I, I, I bring pictures is because I want to put things in perspective. Because if I don't do that, I forget the reality. Imagine... A child like this and I don't know if you can see how much of a child this person looks like imagine a kid like that imagine kids like that imagine kids like that Doing something stupid and impulsive and not even thinking twice. That's what a child is capable of doing. But this trash are trying to create a fantasy. Now you're thinking about that. No. Uh, abuse. While these people are doing this to kids. That's a seven-year-old gasping for air. They restrict the lungs like that. Sexually torturing these children who are four, five, 
and Down syndrome. You know what they try to do to interrupt this? Make a noise campaign. Do you understand the life they have to live? I would die in hell to then try to counter this. Can you imagine to, to, to try to interrupt, to stop somebody from hearing the horrible things they do to babies? Because they want to distance themselves from that. Now, this is what they do for the program. The tortures that they do to children is part of the, the, the result they want to get. If I had children, what they would do to my children to torment me would be terrible. Because not only they, tar they use the target individual they, as a guinea pig, but to get the results to torment a target individual, they go again, they do this to close family members. If you have children, your children will be part of it. They will torture them to see your reaction and get a result that they need to. Do you want to hear? I have had a decent education. I live in El Dorado Hills, California, with my wife of 14 years, Lorna, and our five children. Nicole is 15, Patricia 14, Christopher 13, Dylan 9, and Avery 16 months old. Mood swings, anxiety, print levels. We have all suffered the same symptoms while this harassment was going on. Yeah, this is of torture. We were told by a couple doctors to take her home Three we and love her and spend the rest of the time we had with her. They told us she would ultimately die from this syndrome. Thank God that Lerner syndrome was not what affected our daughter. Doctors are still dumbfounded by her rash and symptoms. Certainly we know that her symptoms were effects from the torture this poor innocent three week old baby endured. A three week old, but you heard the whole family was getting it. These people do horrible things to children. And then they sent these retards who've been called out to be. And they, they, you know, to stop to interrupt this, right? Because they want you to go into this bubble of reality where they want you to think, oh no, it's, uh, did I do this? Like, what do you really think? Of, do you, do you, they want you to believe that it's anything but this massive government that's doing this, this to a bunch of target individual. Matter of fact, listen. Target individuals. Um, some of them are pretty crazy. This is Robin Dawkins. Robin Dawkins has been interviewing, talking to a bunch of target individuals to see a pattern, right? And he created, he wrote this book called No Touch Torture. And he created a list of what most target individuals were experiencing. One of these things is like a pedophilia type of tormenting that most target individuals are forced to see child porn in their mind. You see, out of a thousand people we ask, but this is what some of the things they do to try to create and make it look like it's anything but. And uh, information courier. So they'll say we're the Russian government, we're the Chinese government, we're evil aliens. Where Satan's, you know, satanic ritual abuse. Um, where, and I've heard all these stories. One guy I believed it was uh, some 14 year old kid with an Xbox that lived next door. The trickery really is that great when you're under hypnosis that people will believe something other than a massive government. Which is what they do. With me, I, I'm with a client, right? This is a well-established man. He's been doing this thing for a long time. He's a high position. And when I see him, I don't see, oh, this is like a very, uh, I don't want to judge. But for me, there's been a lot of psyop where they try to present themselves as, like, as if this is like they're an organization of good, like good people, like, or not even good people, but like they're wholesome in the sense that they're like, they, they're just being radical because they want to protect children and women. He doesn't get this for me. Like I see him, like he would be somebody who I can see involved himself in that because the benefits are specific to this human experiment. I'm sure they can get so much results and information and research and so in, in not even research, but we are used as guinea pigs. Seeing how my body reacts with this and that is something they would love to see. This kind of information is something that he would love to be involved in. 
And so they go through the same tactics, but at the same time, he's observing these things and how it's happening to me and why and how I'm reacting to this. He was trying to be like, try to make me uh, believe that all oh, he does. Like, of course I know. And you know what they use to try to um, dismiss or make me be doubtful? They talk about some random things at work. Listen, one thing I, I have no doubt about is what's happening here. I've been validating. But me going to work and talking about work stuff is me giving, in, giving ideas and theory. Not even theory, but just how work goes. Doing it back and forth, giving ideas and whatnot. And they're like, oh, you see that she, he, was, he, he didn't agree with this idea, so that's proof. You see, you're wrong. I'm like, what? Try to use anything they can't. That has nothing to do with being a target individual. For you to be doubtful of the things that are so validated. You have, there's, there's nothing as validations as what we get as target individual. But because our brain is so manipulative, they're like, oh, but you know, you thought the sales for this were gonna be like this, right? You were wrong there, so that, that means that you're wrong right now. No, you thought that uh, this impacted this in regard of work, so you thought the, the the marketing of this specifically would help this, but you see it didn't go that way. Well, that's proof. And they're like, oh, you see? He, he does. I'm like, what guy? You see, that, that's the kind of ways they try to gaslight you. This man was telling me how they're gonna use their HIV. Now, it's disgusting. You know, can you imagine? I'm like, uh, we're gonna, you're gonna have our HIV or something like that. These people torture children. Those are not people. These people do horrible things to even infants, three week old. This is, they, they're part of that. If I was an aggressive man, I would have killed a long time ago. I would have done something and got, a, not got away, but I would have done and completed what I wanted to get do, done. I would have looked, there's people that, if as my fragile state as I am, they would have let me do some terrible things to somebody. I could have easily, they would have been happy to do that. Like, they'll be great. They will watch that, observe that. Say, okay, guys, they will love that. This mass shooters, they know they're going to cause a mass shooting. They let that happen because it, the result is what they want to see. Now, imagine I'm hearing this trash tell me, oh, it's going to be HIV. What he's saying is somehow they're going to make me have HIV. Now, in any other circumstances, I'll be terrified. But what they can do to me there's more hope there's more chance to survive HIV or to live a better life with HIV than being a target individual because they can destroy your immune system like is HIV, in ways that you don't understand HIV is nothing any even cancer is nothing in comparison to these things that they can do to you they can make me have all kinds of cancers. They can destroy my immune system. They can do all these things. So this is just like a theater of things. Now, of course, that sounds, that sounds disgusting. In the sense that to try to force, to, to make somebody have HIV, to contaminate somebody with HIV on purpose is disgusting. But these people torture children. And you see this man who says that like that, and I'm looking at him, it's like, you're just a nasty trash, but it's okay, look at, look at what you guys do. I'd rather die with HIV than be involved in these nasty things. I don't wanna die with HIV, I don't wanna have HIV, but between this and be involved in this, trust you're a coward, no life to torture women and their children. You wanna hear the kind of things they're involved in? This is a testimony of a woman and her child. This commission has spoken of a long history of abuse of the human research subject. Although no one mentioned NK Ultra today, President Clinton recently apologized for this. My the young child and I have been used as non consensual test subjects. We have been subjected to co intel pro like stalking, remote neural monitoring, and electromagnetic torture resulting in psychological 
psychological and physical damage. I guarantee you that sexual torture has been implemented onto her. Because once you say Connie, Connie is another woman who talks about being sexually tormented, having sexual torture. She's saying her and her young child. Do you understand the disgusting level of these people? There's no death that, that can even compensate for what they go through, for what they've done to people, what they involve them themselves into. I will not let them escape. Just on top of that, talk about abusing children. You think people who have this kind of issue are the type of people that are caring Hi. so much about children? Painful disgrace and one we must fight her. In child pornography. As children child online protective services. The Defense Department network consistently ranks in the top tier of internet service providers for trafficking child pornography. It ranked 19th of nearly 3,000 networks surveyed in 2018. Meadows said. These people have this problem. They are keep they are consistently being ranked at a high level of entities that share child porn. Those are the people working on the uh, on this on these technologies on this program. Do you know they even found Adopt DARPA is the, the the entity that's for sure, for sure, has involvement in this program because the technology that we have experienced applied onto us is coming from those entities. They've been working on neurotechnology for years. Years. They talk about legacies of working on neurotechnology. DEW. Directed energy weapons, they have a bunch of stuff about that. But obviously they don't talk about it in their website the way it is applied onto us. They say how they can you know, defuse bombs and things like that. But they all kind of microwave, electromagnetic weapons and things like that. On their website they talk about it. Of course they don't say, oh, we experiment on human beings. No. But you can see that they obviously have worked a lot with this. They, 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 they come with technology. That is so sophisticated. Th this is where all this technology we target individual have to deal with. It's not coming from some next door trash. Talk about all we dare. Can't even. Be... Pedophiles abusing children using this technology in the, the this entities contracting this trash. Pedo land. For me, it's like, no, you remember what you did? Try to exaggerate a middle school child doing some dumb, impulsive things where they're like, you'll pay for it. They're in a program where they're killing babies. Destroying babies. Even bragging, actually bragging that I'm not there first. They've done that to other people. Do you, I, it was like insulting them to say because I didn't know that these people were what they were. I was like, you guys, are, I couldn't believe that's too young. It's like, they're like young adults talk about like, I was like, you don't understand what's happening? It's like, no. It's like, it's like, and one guy just took it, like, like I insulted him. He's like, hey, you're not the first. One literally said, we've done this to more innocent than you. They were actually insulted that I thought that I was somebody who they just did that to. That is what the kind of bragging they were making not a fucking 20 year old who doesn't even know what to say when his girlfriend say oh my you know my ex-girlfriend couldn't be with, with men because a man did something to her when she was a kid and i'm like oh uh, um i i know somebody too <laughs> just try to, re to respond to something i didn't know how to respond to well this trash brag that, that they, they do these things to more people than me they live in a deluded disorienting reality they actually tortured children. Throughout this whole me talking about this, they tell me how they're going to hurt me, they're going to torture me. Me being pain and screaming, it's not going to change that. You guys are here frying and torturing children and women. Then create your storylines. 
and to interrupt me oh it's gonna knock you out i can't wait oh my gosh please leave this life where you're excited about horrible things are gonna happen to me as if it's gonna stop that you do horrible things to even babies to all my target individual stay strong